Hello, so this video is explained about graph of quadratic functions. So this uh, demo lecture may be a little bit different from what I assigned to uh, make the graph so that we can cover next class, but it will help you to understand how to draw the graph of quadratic function. So the first function we want to talk about fx equal to x squared. There are various ways to draw the graph, but one typical and the easier way to draw the graph is selecting few points or other pairs. So I'm going to draw a table here and select maybe five random x value. Each one is best. So I'm going to choose 0, negative 1, negative 2, and 1 and 2 here. So, finding outcome. So all these x are input value. Finding output, a y value, which means you are plugging each x value into this function here. Therefore, we can say f negative 2 means now x is replaced negative 2. So become negative 2 squared. What is the negative 2 squared? Which is 4. So when x is negative 2, the outcome becomes 4. So let's do one more. What is the f negative 1? Then become negative 1 squared. Therefore, it becomes 1. If I do all the similar procedure, when x equals 0, 1, and 2, you will get 0, 1, and 4. Let's plot those other pair on this plane graph. So, negative 2 and 4. Negative 1 and 1. 0 and 0, 1 and 1, 2 and 4. You connect all these other pair, then it's going to be graph of this function. So I'm going to connect them for you. Something like this. Okay? Then, let's think about another function. So maybe gx equal to x minus 1 square. I'm going to choose similar value from fx function. I choose like a negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, right? So I will choose a similar value and then find the few other pair as well. So x and gx. And negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, maybe 1 more 3. Okay. If I do similar procedure, then I can say g negative 2, which means negative 2 minus 1 square, which is negative 3 square equal to 9. Right? So I can say negative 2 outcome become 9. What about negative 1? Then negative 1 minus 1 squared, so become negative 2 squared equal to 4, right? So same way, if you do similar procedure for every other uh, x value, then it come out 1, 0, 1, and 4. So let's input those other pair on the plane graph. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have y value 9, so I cannot plot this point on this plane graph. Sorry, it's a y scale is too small. Uh, it, it, it doesn't reach on the 9. But I can plot between here. So negative 1 and 4. 
and 0 and 1, 1 and 0, 2 and 1, and 3 and 4. So let's connect this point, then graph becomes like this. Okay? So, look at the GeoGebra here. So, first of all, fx equal to x squared is this one, and then gx, x minus 1 squared is this one. Do you see some difference here? So, let me display both graphs on the same plain graph paper. Green one shows that the parent function y equal to x square. Orange one shows that gx equal to x minus 1 square. So what do you see here? If you look carefully, and then maybe uh, it can be obvious. So the vertex point, it was a 0 and 0 before, but now it's moving on to 1 and 0. And then, I'm working here too. Before, we have 0 and 0 here, but now output 0 value become 1 and 0 here. So based on this truth, we can say difference between fx and gx. So gx is uh, shift fx one unit to the right. Let's review again. The green graph shifted one unit to the right. We move to one unit to the right here, right? Therefore, gx is shift fx one unit to the right. Okay, then what about if I give you hx, x plus 1 squared, can you conjecture this result? If you conjecture, this means fx 1 unit to the left, that is correct. So let's see on the GeoGebra. So I'm going to make another function hx equal to x plus 1 square. Uh, to make it look easier, I'm going to turn off gx function. So now you see, green one is x square function. Purple one is x plus 1 function. So as you see, it moved to 1 unit, one unit to left, right? Okay. So, now conclusion. Based on given fx equal to x square, is any function is given, such as gx equal to maybe x minus b square, then you can say fx moving toward b unit to the right. And then if I give you hx equal to x plus b square, the same thing, fx b unit, to the left. That's what, what we can conclude. So, I just have showed a few examples. What if I switch, so turn off this one, and then gx value, this become maybe negative 3? Then can you conjecture? Yes. fx move 3 unit to the right. So, let me show that. And then, Turn it on, then before it was 0 and 0, now it will be 1, 2, 3. 
you need to do right. Okay, turn off the GX and then go back to HX here. I'm gonna make this is maybe plus four. Then you can conjecture already in moving four, you need to the left. Let me turn it on this one. Then you will see this. See? Before it was zero and zero. Now, one, two, three, four, you need to the left. Okay, so I will continue from the, uh, for the next video.